has leadership qualities. And, and that's what he's showing right here. He demands respect when he has the basketball from his teammates. We've seen that in the end in college and even in his early years in the PBA. There's a tip in that makes it six to nothing. Alaska has yet to put something on the board. Well, of the two turnovers of Alaska, San Miguel has scored both times. And there's the pressure, and Simpson will most likely go to the free throw line. Looks like a foul on Hunteveros. And it is six to nothing. Let's see how Simpson does to break the ice here. By the way, Wahi Trillo was reminding me to tell everybody about the Alaska reunion. Past and present, 25th anniversary reunion. Kasali mo si Richard, sabi mo. Kasali siya. Sabi niya. Bibigyan pa nga ng plaki. Thank you. October 1, 2010. Contact Wahi Trillo or CK Canapi at telephone 840-4500. That's a long time, and boy, what a colorful history for this franchise. 6-1, finally. Alaska gets something posted on the board. Here's a wide open Danuk. You were talking to me, shot. Almost had it, though. Tenorio looks ahead. Ah, oh, taken away cleanly. Danuk wants to make up for that mess and does so. So he's a tough player, you know, he's about 60, built very well, stocky. He can shoot the outside shot now, and he can get to the basket. He can also post up smaller defenders among the point guards. Absolutely, and I like the point you made, Jason, about his leadership qualities. As Bobby fires from the outside, Alaska a bit tense here in the early goings. The putback is gone. Uh, Jay Washington looked up in the air, never found his man, allowed Simpson to come from the outside and get that offensive rebound. Below the nine-minute mark of the opening period, here's Dennis wide open. He snaps and connects. Well, right now, Alaska, what Alaska is doing on that half-court set of San Miguel, they're trying to make Denok Miranda the scorer for San Miguel. So far, Denok Miranda responding. He's hit a, finally hit an outside shot right there, and he's still giving positive minutes for his team. He's matched the output he made in game number three, four points, and he picks up a rebound. It's 10 to 3 with 8.25 to go. Denok slows it down, tries to get the offensive line organized. Jay Watch, however, the rush. His dribble broken up. Tenorio spots Baggio cutting down the baseline, no chance for a pass. Inside we go to Devance. Devance looking, looking. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Jay Wash waiting for his next move. Baggio trying to make a decision. Let's it fly. Long one. Yeah! They have to start respecting Cyrus Baggio making three-point shots. If he's going to be open, he is going to make those kind of shots. You cannot not close out on him. Now, Tyus Baggio, one of the fresher guys on that starting five of Alaska because he did not play a lot of minutes in game number three. Although he did shoot pretty well in that game, five out of seven. So far, Baggio, double digits in all of the games, and we have... Kickball violation. And let's send it to Magu downstairs for a San Miguel report. You know, Coach Shaw Tankinson knows it's been a very hard tournament for Denok Miranda and says the good thing for Denok is that he is a very hard worker. Denok never complained when he didn't get any floor time. And all the coach told him was to stay positive and that his time will come. Summing it up, Coach Shot says Denok is an ideal player for any coach and Tankinson even admits to asking for Denok's opinion, especially on defensive schemes. Seth? Uh, to add one more card to the coaching staff for uh, uh, <laughs> San Miguel and the, I was kidding Gia Vanilla earlier along the hallway it's like oh, pwede na kayo magtayo ng agency ah, sa dami ng guardian <laughs> security card naman yun eh takya ka nga na tao eh <laughs> si Gia Vanilla lang naman nagagano po eh Gia <laughs> they're whispering something right now to Sean Tankisen he's a very nice guy yes because he's, he's very good you know oh. I mean he studies the game well Pero mabait yan si Jim. Oh, kasi pag si Hector ang biniro ko, ginisigan lang ako ni Hector, ubus na ako eh. <laughs> that shot does not work. Late pass to Freeman. LA says, where at? Oh! But that funnel, that shot block, and Simpson threw that back. Well, the only reason why that happened is because LA tried to hold the ground, tried to get a charging foul. She didn't allow Simpson to come into the picture, come up with a terrific block, and let's see if Freeman can react to that. 
And that block wakes up the red machine. Here's the corner shot that does not work for Dennis Miranda. Chance for Alaska to inch in a little closer at the 647 point of this game. Here's Bogdan decides to pass off at the last moment. And it'll be retained by the Aces. Well, so far what we've seen is both teams, it seems that their energy just matching each other. Good not point, not yes. like what we saw in game number three. Where Kapansin Pansin Talaga Yu San Miguel, they were ready on uh, fifth gear while Alaska was still in second. In today's game, although Alaska doesn't have a lot of points on the board, they're matching San Miguel's energy. And I think the pressure of having to sweep San Miguel as much as 3 0 has been taken off from the Aces. And now the energy level, as you mentioned, just about even. That is pocketed! Arwin Santos. In his last two games in the series, 20 points, 18 points. That will work. Yo, doesn't look pretty, but that <laughs> shot is really effective. Parang ano eh, taliwete nung tira ni Mac Mac yun. Well, uh, we're not actually into gymnastics, but... Uh, not a beauty no contest. Yep, yep. In the meantime, into the post we go. 12 eight below, 6 minutes here. Freeman, Simpson all over him, but the shot is made nonetheless. What a nice ball game we're witnessing here at the start of this ball game. Except for the first few minutes where Alaska made a couple of turnovers, it's developed into a very nice offensive ball game. Into the post we go. The Aces whip it around. Nice dish off. The Vance was scared more about the person he might step on. They give it to Tenorio, he's second. And the beer man will take a timeout back in a moment with 520. As the cameras of our director Arvin Singol Yagas zoom into the action, it is 14 to 8, 518 to go opening period. And Dr. J and Jason are so correct. This is slam bang action. Deservedly so because this is the finals of the Fiesta Conference. That shot didn't work. It'll go to Alaska. Oh. I thought there was a violation. Looks like some fans bring their whistle. Yeah. yeah, I've been hearing that, you know. Yeah, that's why I stopped. And I think uh, they should do something about it. And Joe Devance could be the intervening variable, the integral barometer player for Alaska in the series. Four point game. Then up. Wide open. He'll shoot! You know, actually a very early gamble right here in the part of Alaska. Um, Ellie Tenorio already with two fouls, but Coach Tim Cohn going with him. But you can see right there, sagging very far from Deno, staying away from that foul, and also making him shoot that outside jumper. Six points. And this was the shot that Simpson did not have in game number three, that hook shot. They could not send the ball inside to the box into him because of the different looks that you had mentioned. Well, what is happening there is now they're moving in from the outside. They, they're not posting him up immediately. I think that's what they they will continue to do in this uh, ball game. Yes, Dr. J. And I think they're not asking him to go too deep. I think in game number three, he went too deep inside. Yeah, then when you, you have no more place to turn. Here, at least you can put the ball down on the floor. It's going to be a, a, a what? An offensive foul. And this has always shocked Diamond Simpson whenever it's called against him. And he'll shake his head and look at Tim Cohn with the ultimate reaction after that. I would say that was a very cheap foul right there. Even Usually when you put your arm on the back of a player that's fronting you, and if you extend it, makikita yung kamay mo at saka yung lower portion ng bumabantay sa'yo, it will go away from that person. But that, that did not seem to happen in that play. Two changes for San Miguel. Pinisi and Kamagnot are already on the floor. Here's Gondok from the corner. A little too strong in L.A. Tenorio embraces it, welcomes it with open arms. Here's Simpson driving hard. And it could be a Pinisi foul here. See where he started, Pinisi? I'm not going to poke you. You, we and I are, you and I are going to play outside, and I'm going to take you in. <laughs> yep. Now let's see if you can follow me here. This is where we will start our dance, he seems to be saying. And Benisi, no complaints, which is uh, rather unusual, because it's just the first foul. In the meantime, Simpson missing the first free throw. And as we know, this game, a game of moves and counter moves. Uh, Alaska was doubled at different, San Miguel had different looks for Simpson in game number three. So it's Coach Tim 